Burning and dodging is going to be adding shape and for the final changes here to the skin texture, the skin color, and things like that that we want to be sure we're accurate on. So let's look at the initial burning and dodging. So we're going to get a blank layer here and I'm going to just call this B and D. I'm going to put this in soft light blend mode, which means when I paint with black, it's going to be burning. And when I paint with white, it's going to be dodging. So let's start with black. And let's start with a very light opacity, maybe 10 or 20 percent with a light flow. And I'll get a little bit wider brush. And I'll just try to hit a couple of these places just to add some shape to the texture of her cheeks, maybe over for it a little bit, a little bit smaller brush, and I'll accentuate these lines of her collarbone. And now I'll switch to white, and I'll get a little bit bigger brush, and I'll try to handle in here, up on her forehead a little bit, and now I'm giving her much more shape. Now you can see this before and after that I'm adding some shape, and I can blur these out or I can drop the opacity back as I see fit. You can do this a lot or a little depending on the model that you've got and depending how much shape you're looking to try to get. Now you can do that with the burning and dodging and we'll call it B and D face. And I'll get another layer here, and we'll call this layer B and oops, B and D lips. So here, what we're going to do with this layer, we're going to put this in soft light blend mode as well, and the same thing is going to govern us as far as that goes. But here we're looking to get a little bit more volume in the lips. So with the brush, get a little bit smaller brush. And with white as my foreground color, we're going to hit the interiors here, trying to get a little bit more volume here, smaller brush, maybe up in here, up in here. And then I'm going to switch colors to black. And now I'm just going to do the edges. Very much the same way we did the eyes. We added volume to the eyes. And here we're adding some volume to the lips. Now, if we want, we can take this layer here, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. We can lessen the effect a little bit just by taking the blur either up or down. So there's no blur, there's more blur, and you can see it, that it's making it more and more subtle the more we go. So maybe around 15 or 20 pixels is probably pretty good. So we've added some dimension there to our lips. So let's back off a little bit. So as far as shape goes, things are, are not looking bad as far as, as far as shape goes. Now as far as some of the finishing touches here, we're going to want to go through and make some final changes here. Now one of the changes that I can see would be to makeup that would fall in this still kind of shaping, contouring section. So for the makeup, let's go through here. Tap the Q key. I have a brush. I have 100%. And what I'm going to do with this brush is get a little bit bigger brush, and I'm just going to go under her eyes, over her eyes. Tap the Q key. Now here, I'm going to get an adjustment layer. And I'm going to get a hue saturation adjustment layer. Now I could also use a curve. Now you can see for the hue here, I can go into color blend mode because I'm changing the color and only the color. And the hues I could change to give myself 
different hues. So say we wanted to go a little bit more of a magenta feel. Now one thing that I want to be able to do is I want to be able to mask this back. So the first section here is to select the mask, get my brush, black my foreground color, and start to cut this in. So in other words, hold it back from the areas that I don't want it to be in. And also to switch colors and make sure that it is affecting the areas that I do want it to affect. Now what I'd like to do here is hold the command key down, click on the mask, which is going to select those two areas. Turn this off. So I don't have any color here, but I have got a selection. And now I'm going to go under Edit, Copy Merged, Command V to Edit Paste. You have to be on an active layer. And this is going to be Make Up Texture. We'll pull this to the very top, turn on the color. In this one, we're going to do the same thing we do with the texture for the skin. We're going to put it into soft light blend mode. And we're going to apply a high pass filter. Other high pass. We're going to add maybe, I don't know, eight pixels. And we've added now texture on top of on top of the color that we have in here. Now if we want to add that color any place else, we just click on that mask and we get a larger brush, let's say. And I'm painting white with a soft brush, very soft brush. Maybe 20% of the push and add a little bit of color here. And we can even add that same color right to her lips. Even if it's just a suggestion of that color. Doesn't have to be precise. And now we've built in the color. Now we certainly have done this excessively, but that's not to worry because we like to work excessively. Because now what I can do is under the makeups, um, here I can go under and bring the opacity back and just drop it back so it's just a nice little just minor hint of that. So makeup and shape, shift, select all that all those layers, new group from layers, and we're gonna call this make up and shape. And right now, after we zoom out, get a better picture of how everything is blending together and we start to think about making adjustments. But before we do, we got one other thing we need to do. We need to go through and we need to finalize all the little aspects. We'll do that in the last movie.